hi my beautiful kings and queens welcome back to my channel as you all know i am your girl latroya griffin and as i always say don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified every time your girl drops a new video so i'm gonna jump straight into today's word so hebrews 11 verse 1 says now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. So the Lord is saying that you must have so much confidence in him. He's saying that you must have so much faith in him that whatever you are praying for, know that he is going to bless you with it. The Lord is saying right now you don't see it with your physical eyes. The Lord is saying right now it is not tangible. Right now it's not tangible in your hand. But the Lord is saying that later on down the line, he is going to bless you with that. The Lord is saying you have not receive that blessing yet but know that it is on the way the lord is saying that blessing is not tangible yet but you can see it in your dreams we know that the lord blesses us on his timing and not ours assurance okay so let me slow down assurance means a positive declaration intended to give confidence or a promise so the lord is saying that he has promised to bless you with whatever you are praying for. The Lord is saying assurance. It said assurance about what we do not see. So the, so the Lord is saying that th that assurance is our promise. The Lord is saying that he has assured to supply our needs. He has assured us that he shall supply all of our needs. The Lord is saying he has assured us that he is going to bless us. Sometimes we pray for things that we think we need in the moment, but the Lord is saying he blesses you for things. He's, he blesses you with things that you're going to need later on down the line. We're, we're praying for a quick miracle, but the Lord is saying the reason why that blessing is taking so long is because it's a big blessing. The Lord is saying the reason why that blessing is taking so long, he's saying because that blessing that blessing is going to last you for generations. The Lord is saying that blessing is going to bless your children's, your children's children. The Lord is saying that blessing is going to bless your children's children, your children's children's children. So the Lord is saying that blessing is going to bless the whole family. We're praying for stuff that's just for us. The Lord is saying, he is wants to bless us with things that are going to bless generations from now. The Lord is saying he wants to bless us with things that is going to bless our family from generations from now. So the Lord is saying, yes, that blessing is taking, you know, a long time, but that's because it's a magnificent blessing. The Lord is saying, the Lord is saying you must continue to hold on. He's saying the righteous has never been forsaken. Have you ever seen the righteous forsaken? The, David said the righteous has never been forsaken. So the Lord is saying, why would he start now? The Lord is saying, you feel, you, you know, you feel as though you have been forsaken because he is not blessing you in a timely matter. The Lord is saying that you feel as though he has forsaken you because the blessing is taking longer than you would want it to take. The, the blessing is taking longer than you expect it to take. But the Lord is saying, of course, I'm a God that blesses on my timing. So the Lord is saying, this blessing is going to bless generations from now. Just like, just like you have faith that one day that job is going to give you a raise. The Lord is saying, you must have faith in him that one day he is going to bless you. It might not be in this season. It might not be in this moment. But know that your blessing is on the way. He said, if we have faith the size of a mustard seed that we can move mountains the lord is saying if we have faith the size of a mustard seed we can move mountains so i need all of my believers to put in the comments say i trust you god i trust you lord i trust that you are going to see me through this thing i trust that you are going to bless my children's children i i trust that you are going to bless me with generational wealth the lord is saying he wants to bless you 
so that your children don't have to go through the same struggles that you went through. The Lord is saying this blessing is not just for you. This The Lord is saying that this blessing is for your entire family. The Lord is saying you are going to be the one to carry the burdens so that you can also be the one to bring your family out of this this tragedy out of the poverty or the trauma that you guys have endured. The Lord is saying you are going to be the one that is going to lead your people. You are going to be the one that is going to bless your family. The Lord is saying he's going to give you that blessing so that you can be a blessing. The Lord is saying he blesses us so that we can bless the land. The You, had, you heard the saying you have to um, be a blessing. You have to bless people in order to be a blessing or you have to be a blessing so that you can bless others. This blessing is not just for us. That blessing is not just for you. It's for your family. It's for generations to come after you. So the Lord is saying, keep holding on, keep pressing forward and know that he is going to bless you. He's saying that it is going to be on your timing. Uh, it's going to be on his timing and not yours. So with that being said, I want you all, I want my kings and queens to continue to press forwards. Continue to keep the faith in the Lord. I know that you are feeling discouraged. I know that you feel like giving up, 